Hey guys, I decided that I'm just going to do vlogs from now on and write a few blog entries onto my JLo fan blog and also I'm going to be trying to do more updates for my music channel because of the fact that I have a lot more subscribers on YouTube than I do for my um, my website, my the blog on my website, so I figured I'd just sit here and talk and shoot from the hip as I guess I keep a journal of basically what I'm going through with uh, this new diagnosis that it's, I've only had it for like a year of a schizoaffective disorder and all I have to say is that a lot of people have problems a lot of people like we all have problems it's just a universal thing and after I had my kid I'm not the same person anymore I've said that a million, a million times probably but sometimes those of us who have kids and had a chemical imbalance beforehand mine was I believe uh, I guess the beginning stages of bipolar disorder and it just morphed into something more serious but as long as I take I'm the type of person as long as I take my medication <laughs> I'm fine and I've people who want to be controversial love making the you're crazy take your meds joke every single time I express my opinion and that's fine I have a thick skin I can take it but it's just how oh wow I'm really out of focus sorry it's the other people who are really really sick or I shouldn't say sick whose disorder makes them not f on a lesser functioning level I guess I should say because I'm pretty functional as long as I remember to take my medication every day sometimes I get really busy and there's going to be days where I forget to take it you know I'm a single mother with a toddler that it happens in that case you just do your best to, to make sure you really like I do my best to really buckle down and make sure I take medi take my medication seriously and for what it does to me because without it I can't function and it's no different than becoming a diabetic after having a kid because a lot of women become a diabetic also and I don't see anybody putting a stigma on them and I just think it's really unfair that it's easier to be to say like oh I was so drunk when I at my job the other day or it's okay to talk about how or like, laugh and joke about almost choking to death on your own vomit because you were so drunk or high or it's it's okay to do that in this society and it just it boggles my mind. I still talk about it because I still can't get over Amy Winehouse getting all those Grammys for basically sitting here talking about how no, I'm not going to help myself. Yes, I did pop like a handful of Valium just now. No, I'm not going to rehab. No, I don't care about the fact that of course, that it, she didn't sign up to be a role model, but come on. Neither did Britney Spears, and at least she does her best, because... And I know this rant is going off on, like, 10 million different tangents, but, she, you know, she was... She got crazy after she had a couple kids, too. She's, like... Somebody I can relate to, because she had two kids back-to-back. And that's why I'm probably never having another kid. My kid's probably going to be an only child. Because I'm not taking the risk of 
my chemical imbalance getting worse because I wanted to have another kid. It's not fair to Alexis, my daughter. It's not fair to the, you know, the new child that I just had. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to my family. It's not fair to my friends because it affects all of them. All of the above. There's a lot of minutia that goes into one person having mental disorder. It affects a lot of people, especially when it got as hectic and insane as mine got for a few times. When you're in the middle of trying to figure out what medication works for you, you can get downright scary because the same stuff used to make you better can actually make you worse. As far, insofar as the schizophrenia hallucinations, I didn't have hallucinations until I started on certain types of medication. And some of it is rough. Like, you ever been on lithium? <laughs> that stuff turned me into a zombie worse than even Seroquel did. And that's another thing that I want to talk about, the medication that I'm on. Mostly, what helps me is Prozac and Prolexin. And then I take uh, Ativan because the Prolexin causes muscle a lot of muscle twitching. So I have to be on something to basically combat that, to make sure my muscles don't start spasming like crazy. And currently that seems to be the combination that works for me. I'm still not used to it yet, especially the Prolexin. I'm not used to... Like, my body isn't used to it yet, but I get muscle twitching from that, but it's getting less because they reduce the dosage. And honestly, I don't mind sitting here and talking to people about what I go through. It could help to have somebody who can actually, somebody who's, you know, in the depths, like, or hit rock bottom, like I have it's comforting to see somebody go through it and you know on you know getting back on the even keel getting back to you know like the person that they used to be I'm never going to be completely who I used to be but you know I never expected to be the same person at 27 that I was at 17 anyway so I'm going to be 28 soon, so like by the time I became a, when I was 18, I knew I was going to be a completely different person at 28, 38, 48, that's how, that's how life goes. If you're not evolving, you're stagnant in the water, and you're not really, it's like, what is, what else is the point of life if you're not growing, and if you're not evolving, if you're not learning from it? So, and it's just you can't judge a wise man by the color of their skin to quote Aerosmith you really can't so that's basically all I wanted to talk about so this is going to be a lot about a lot of a journal a lot about me journaling the effects of I guess the medication that I'm on, how I'm feeling, any holistic stuff that I do, and just, I guess, reporting back to my subscribers. So I hope everybody has a good day, and I'll talk to you later.